Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing to the channel, guys. We're making this video, guys, which will be super helpful video, guys, as a, a response to a video request to some of you that left comments in the comment section, guys, and ask if you have a BMW X5, can you drive one with uh, with a knock sensor? Okay, that is bad. And what happens if you do not replace the knock sensor? Now, uh, we'll demonstrate on N52 engine that actually has been used in BMW X5, but even if you have uh, other engines, six cylinder, eight cylinders, diesels, gasoline engines, the procedure and the outcome of not replacing a bad uh, knock sensor will be the same, guys. Now, we'll demonstrate on three series because currently we don't have the X5 at the shop, but it's, uh, it's the same, guys, for all BMWs and we want to uh, help to any of you guys that ask that question. So that's why we're doing that. Now, uh, quick introduction guys to the channel every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos specifically on BMWs guys we make close to four five hundred videos why simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information now if you guys need to buy replacement knock sensors okay or any parts tools for your BMW X5 check out the links in the description of the video below all that will be shared for your convenience so that being said, as I said, this is uh, this right here, guys, in a, is a N52 N52 gasoline engine. Uh, now, uh, if you guys have now, we will explain if you have a six-cylinder engine and a V8 engine, because some X5, especially here in the US, come with a with a. Um, uh, X5 uh, V8 engine guys very common V8 engine so uh, on the six cylinder you have two knock sensors on the V8 you will have four knock sensors guys okay two on each cylinder head now on the six cylinder the knock sensors will be located on the engine block okay let me show you where you will need to remove your intake manifold in both cases uh, V8 or uh, six cylinder engine guys uh, intake manifold on the six cylinder will be on the right side on the V8 will be between the two cylinder heads, remove the intake manifold and this device here, this is called a knock sensor, then you have one more device there, that's the second knock sensor bank two guys, so you have quite a few knock sensors, so can you guys drive with a bad knock sensor? Let's cover that now, guys. What the knock sensor does. Okay, it detects, guys, if your engine is running good. Practically, what happens when the pistons, when the piston comes up, okay, it compresses the fuel, okay fuel and air and then the spark plug ignites if that ignition happens too early that will be an early explosion detonation uh, the knock sensor will detect that and it will tell to the car computer okay dude we need to adjust that because if we keep doing that it's not good engine's not running good we're polluting more so we will send a signal okay the engine computer will retard the ignition timing and things will go back to normal that could happen guys because of a, a different gasoline octane level altitude, uh, current temperature outside, it could be guys due to so many factors and it's constantly changing. And if you keep driving with a bad sensor, the car will not know that there is a problem and that early detonation guys can lead to uh, melted, okay, melted or blown valves because the uh, engine will be running harder. You can guys cause damage to piston rings, you can cause damage to catalytic converters, spark plugs, and oxygen sensors so as a result guys you may end up needing a new engine or your engine rebuilt so that can be thousands of dollars worth of repairs guys and you don't want that to thing to happen to your engine so hopefully guys video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure something like that out uh, if you have any questions let us know that's why we made that video as a answer to your requests thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time